Hello YouTube and welcome to my review of Lego Star Wars set 10236, the Ewok Village. Before I actually get started on this video, I just feel as I've got to say, in my opinion, this is an absolutely epic set. Um, it was a great build, um, had a lot of fun building it, probably took me around about five, somewhere between five to six hours in total, I think, to build it on and off. Um, and the amount of features on this is incredible. Uh, there are many, many features on it. I'm going to apologise in advance because this video could potentially be quite long if I show you every single feature on it, which I may struggle to because I may struggle to even just remember the amount of features that are on it. And what I'll probably do is a separate video to go through the minifigures. Uh, there's about 17 minifigures um, as well. So, without further ado, I'm going to go straight into the review. Oh, sorry, I just want to also say I did an unboxing video. Um, so if you look at the unboxing video, you'll see um, a review of obviously the actual unboxing itself, a view of the box, um, and the instruction manuals, of which there are three, um, etc. So I'm not going to do that in this video. The first thing I'm going to show you is one of kind of the standalone things that comes with it, which is this catapult, which simply works by pushing down a little rubber piece in there and it fires these pieces here so it's just a case of simply taking one of those putting it in and firing it like so next we have a speeder a speeder bike as you can see there get these in many sets in the past, one thing you don't normally get is this piece on the bottom here, which is a translucent piece, which obviously gives it um, the impression that it's in flight mode, um, which is pretty cool. Okay, so into the actual set itself, and like I said, this is going to be quite a struggle to get a lot of this done. And what I'm going to do. Let's bring that forward. First thing I'm going to concentrate is this one here. Um, as you can see here, there's a rope bridge which joins this to the main structure. So the first thing that this set can do is separate from it. Like so. It's just how to bear together with a couple of technic pieces there. Okay, so we have a rope ladder um, on that side. Okay, um, a couple of torches there and there, and obviously lots and lots of tree detail um, on this one. Got some mushrooms on the bottom, they're printed pieces, which is pretty cool. I think there's another one of those elsewhere on this model as well. And there's the rear view. It is. Great detail on this Ewok village, absolutely fantastic. So, the feature on this uh, particular one is if we take our Ewok and take his spear off him and stand him inside, we've got a little trap door. So, if we pull this trap door, as you can see, he goes down. He actually came out of this bit here, it's like a slide inside it. So if we look inside there, hopefully you can see that trapdoor moving and it works. I'll pull in this and leave it here. So that's the main feature on that one. So that's that piece done. I'm going to put that to one side. I'll take this part of the bridge off as well, I think. So that all comes off and you can see rope bridge there, really good. Okay, let's head on to it. I'm going to look at this one now in particular, this tree trunk. So one of the features on this is what you can see here, this spider's web. So it actually does go back in. There's a lever. Somewhere under here, there it is. Okay, so that just, you see it there where my finger is, and that just hides that 
spider webs, you can obviously put it out when your feed is flying past and catch them in the spider's web. There's also a spider there, actually on the trunk itself. Another thing to point out while we're on this is all of the top of these trunks spin round, which is a great, great feature. You can see that one as well. And this one at the rear also spins round. So again, some great detail. I'll show you into uh, the rear. See there. And back around the front, you can see Princess Lair there standing at the top. Some steps to get up. And again, great detail. We've got another torch here. There's a torch on every one of these um, treetops. So the main feature on this one was the cobweb. Okay, so I'm going to now move on to. i got to do this one next. Some great detail um, on the tree itself. You can see that. It's a little Ewok at the top of this one. Just tackle them. There you go. You can see inside the rear of this one, if I'm trying to get in there a bit better. At the top here, we've got some barrel with some vegetables in it. And a carrot and some sausages in there as well, actually, it's not just vegetables. And a sack of food there, and again, some more food down here, and a pot on a little fire um, down there. Okay, so again, a couple of torches, and you can see again the level of detail is great so the main feature on this one is this piece here actually lifts up and inside here I'm gonna try and get into it I can zoom in just bear with me you can actually see just about see in there a little hiding area for an Ewok. So there is actually an Ewok in there. So let's come back out. Okay, so another feature on this particular one is this piece here. It's obviously a net, um, a trap. So this does actually go up and down. So uh, you can see the string representing the rope going up there. So that does actually go, you can pull that up and down. Okay, and the net does come off very easily. So inside the net at the moment I've got Chewbacca. Okay, so he just simply gets caught inside the net. There's trap obviously waiting. And once he's caught up in the net, then obviously one of the things we can do is um, pull him up. Like so. You can see, hopefully, that around that side there actually threads through the tree itself. Okay. Just take that off and out of the way. See it there. Okay, I think that has all the features for that one. So I'm going to go to the one at the rear now, which is this one here. Again, they spin round. So inside that one, we have a little fire. Hopefully, you can see. In there, the back of that one. And there are some torches actually inside as well, on the walls inside this one. And at the top of it, we've actually got 
another catapult, which hopefully you can see. And there. And again, here's what we will fire out of our catapult. And again, good detail. That's for this whole, whole set. So if I spin this one around, featuring this particular tree trunk, is and this piece here. So this actually opens, and inside there, it's like a little storage area. So you can put. Um, Luke's lightsaber in there, and I've got Han Solo's pistol as well, um, hiding in there too. Um, one thing I forgot to point out, actually, where the Ewok, I'm going to try and attempt to pick this up, so where the Ewok's hiding, there's a little hideout in there. Hopefully you can see that there are some stickers in here. And that's supposed to be a little fun bit that's been added in there. So one of them is like a love heart. Um, and the other one is of a Stormtrooper's um, helmet. So I'm not sure if you're actually going to be able to see those. But there, yeah, you can see that one a bit better there. And hopefully there on that side. One of the features that I forgot to mention. Like I said, there are many. Okay, so on to the actual uh, base itself. Some good things on here. So we've got the campfire. Um, roasting hand solar, we're about to. You can see he's on it there. Let's go around. Got drums here. Over here, we've got from obviously from the film. Great representation of the actual film this set. We've got the heads. Um, of the troopers, stormtroopers. I'm um, sitting there, so three of those. If you remember in the film, they were um, beating those drum beats on those. We got some storage over here, so some additional weapons in here, some spears, some I think some staffs in there. Um, back here, and we've got Luke Skywalker, and on these pieces here, there are some rope, which represents holding him or tying him to. Um, the posts there. Ah, right, so another feature I just remembered. So, again, back to the rear. We have this piece here, which hopefully, again, you can see. I'm just going to use that. So, that represents where the speeder is flying through. And then obviously the pieces come down and poof, so again. And apologies for the crying in the background, which I'm sure you can hear, that's my um, son who's with his mother at the moment, obviously isn't too happy. Um, and again, you can see in the rear of this, there's just bits everywhere you look in this set. So we've got some more storage, little bed area in here actually, so where Princess Leia sleeps. Torch inside the tower there. There's a, um, a bow in there, and again there's a sticker on this piece. I'll try and get it around um, here, there, a sticker on there. Okay, I think, and that's just about, oh no, of course, I've got to forget this one, so. What we have up here, obviously, sat up there, floating, is C-3PO on his um, throne. So this is the scene where uh, Luke Skywalker uses the Force and makes C-3PO float, um, or levitate rather, uh, levitate in the air, which is what's shown there, because that's actually held up by a translucent piece um, behind him. So again, true representation of what's actually going on in the film itself. Right, I think that's mainly it. There's obviously there's bits down here as well. Um, 